Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Friday business intelligence session. Today, we're going to be uh, appealing more towards the uh, heavy-duty nerd side of the business intelligence spectrum, and we're going to be talking about how do you schedule those SQL Server analytic services processes, like processing cubes and dimensions? How do you get those scheduled to process on a scheduled basis? So uh, we're going to be covering how you do that uh, today. So to get right into it, I'm going to jump on over to my SQL management studio. Um, so as we're going to start out with here, I have connected already to my laptop here, RB Surface Book. Uh, and I have connected in management studio to both the database engine as well as the analysis services engine. So if I go into analysis services and I look under the databases of the cubes, I've got a number of different cubes on my, my laptop here, cube databases. One of them, for instance, I'll just use for this example is the Kronos uh, data mart, analysis services data mart that we have. Now, as you know, when you look at a cube uh, data mart, there's different parts to that. There's data sources, there's the cubes themselves. And then within that make up a cube are a number of dimensions. When you process a cube, you need to actually process uh, different uh, parts to it. Now, there's different ways to doing this. And I'm going to show you the way that I prefer. And it's I've been doing it for a number of years this way just because I find that it's the most flexible. And what I like to do is I like to process my dimensions separately from my cube. Um, and so how you set up one of these is up here in SQL Management Studio for the database engine, there's the SQL Server Agent, which is the process that runs scheduled jobs. What we're going to do is we're going to create a job that's going to process our cube down here. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create our cube script that we're going to process. So how you do that is that I've connected into uh, Analysis Services. I like to have Object Explorer details open on the right. So when I click on dimensions, it lists all the dimensions. What you do to generate your processing command is first highlight the objects you'd like to process. So in my case, I want to process all my dimensions. So I'll select all my dimensions. I'll right click on those and I'll say I want to process those. Now, if, this, if I were processing these manually, this is what I would do. I'd set the settings here and I'd click OK. Now, what you want to do is there's some different process options. What I do is I process all my dimensions as full. Um, just by the way that we're updating our data mart, we always have to do full. So I'm doing a, a full process on all the dimensions. So I just highlighted all those and I switched the option to be full. Then to generate the command, what I do is I go to this script option and I say, I'm going to script the command to a new query window. What that did was open up the analysis services command, the XMLA script over here on the right. And what you can see the script is doing is it's saying, I'm going to create a batch of process, going to do it in parallel, and then I'm going to process each one of my dimensions, which is what you see here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight, I always do it to a new query window so I can take a look at it but I'm going to copy this, this script that's out here. So I just hit copy. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to my jobs and I'm going to say, I'm going to create a new job and you can give it whatever name you want. I'll say process cubes, process, process Kronos cube. I'll give it something a little more ex, explicit. The steps I'm going to do is I'm going to do a new step. And that step I'm going to say is process dimensions. And the type of command that it is, is a SQL Server Analysis Services command. The server it's going to be on is going to be my, my case, my laptop. And then I just paste the command here. And I say, OK. Now I also, in my command, want to process my cubes. So I've only got one, but if you had more than one. I can press cubes here and have it go over here, but I'll right click and I'll say process. It already is set to process full, but I'm going to say script action to new query window. And I'm going to copy my command in for that. And this will process the cube. So I'll come over here to my job again and add another step. And we'll say process cube. 
and that's an analysis services command for my laptop and the command as such and say okay now normally if you wanted to schedule it you'd go to the schedule here and say new schedule and give it a scheduled time i'm not going to bother setting a specific schedule but that's where you tell it what time to run this process so if you want to do it each night you set the schedule to each night and what it'll do is it'll do these commands so now i'm going to say okay so I have my job set up out here to process Kronos Cube. Now, when I run this, I'm going to get an error. And I intentionally am getting this error so that you can see a common thing that occurs. So if I go ahead and I run this, I'll say start job. We'll say start it at step one. Say OK. It'll run for a second here. And then all of a sudden, oh, I got a red X, an error. The most common error I see when people first go to set up a job is that there's not proper permissions uh, defined to do that. And so if I do view history on here and I go to step one that failed and I go down here to this section that discusses what the actual problem was, you'll notice here it says either the NT service slash SQL server agent doesn't have permission or that object doesn't exist. Well, I know it's it doesn't have permission. So any user that you want to have that's going to process cubes needs to have permissions to process cubes. And by default, the SQL Server agent user does not. So what I like to do is I just copy this user ID, NT service. This is the most common one. This is just the default uh, agent. But if I just cancel that, the permissions that define in analysis services that say who can process cubes is if you go to the analysis services settings and do properties, one of the tabs is for security and it lists the users that have server administrator role. I'm gonna just go ahead and say add. I'm gonna add that NT service SQL server agent. I'll check it just to make sure. Yep, it worked, okay, okay. So now when I do that, that user has permission to process the cube. Now when I go ahead and I run this, I'm gonna say start at step one and run. It's gonna go through and process. Now I haven't tested this particular cube database to know that I actually can do it, but in theory, if I had set up everything, there you go, it works. So what that did was it processed all the dimensions, then it processed the cubes, and now my job is set up. So if I had the schedule set up, it would process on a normal schedule. So that's really the, all there is to setting up SQL agent jobs uh, to process in, in SQL agent. And that is each job step is a SQL server agent command or analysis command, and the, the text that it is, is, an, is called XMLA. Now, where you, where you get that, uh, on any one of these items, for actually, that's down here. Whenever you do something in analysis services, if I right-click on it, do properties, there's a script action. So whatever I'm doing, anytime you want to generate the script to it, you can see this little script option at the top to generate that. So whether you're setting permissions or processing objects or whatever, that's what you do. So that's today's lesson, how simple it is to set up jobs in SQL Agent to process SQL Server Analysis Services commands. Hope you found this tip useful, and we'll talk to you again. Actually, we're going to be skipping next week. Next week is Thanksgiving here in the United States, so we're going to be skipping uh, next Fridays. And in two weeks, we'll be back again with another business intelligence tip. Thank you, and have a good